This is a quick YouTube on Droid Star and the update since it was originally released. On the screen now you can see an old copy of my YouTube um, from a few months ago with the screenshot of the new Droid Star software alongside it for comparison. As you can see it's much slicker. So the new Droid Star version is 0 0.28 beta and it has a slightly different layout with the uh, menuing across the top which I think it looks much slicker than the uh, previous version so kudos to Doug McLean AD8DP I absolutely love the humour of this log <laughs> how better and more sarcastically could you get than this so here's a few screen grabs of the uh, software um, these are taken from my Samsung Note 10 um, so just straight from a Samsung screen grab uh, I figured it was easier to do it this way than to uh, camera screen grab it because it's a lot clearer to see what's going on so there's your, your typical settings there the center screen shows the uh, different modes that are available I've tested it with uh, DMR and DSTAR what they show as ref here. I gather it's very good on uh, Yaesu System Fusion and the other modes and there's a new one for me popped up at the bottom there called M17. I have no uh, experience or knowledge of that prior to this YouTube. So in the settings, much the same as before, you enter similar information. You put your call sign in, your DMR ID and if you don't have a DMR ID, you should go to radioid.net and register. And while we're on the subject of radioid.net, I've done several other YouTubes on uh, creating contact databases for radios. Um, the information from radioid.net and the raw data dumps. So uh, have a look at my other YouTubes on that. So let's move down here. Um, you enter your DMR ID, which I've just said where we get that from, radioid.net. The ESS ID is a suffix. Um, I've only really seen this used, I think, on um, DSTAR. So it will be where you have your call sign, like VA3SII slash 5 or VA3SII slash 6 or whatever, pertaining to what radio you, you're using. I think it's nothing more than that. It's just a pull down menu, you can select a number or indeed leave it blank. The password section there, I believe, is for Brandmeister. So, around about the end of December 2019 uh, and into January 2020. 2020, I got that wrong. Round, I believe it's for Brandmeister. Around about the end of December 2020, Brandmeister are rolling out uh, passwords being required across their different servers, initially in the US. Um, but it's a good uh, thing to go and get yourself a password, um, particularly for this application or if you're running a hotspot. There's some security issue, I guess uh, people are trying to pass themselves off to being other people and messing around with a network basically so Brandmeister wants to know that uh, if you're accessing from a hotspot that you're secure so uh, there's lots of videos out there on the internet to do this but what you should do is go to Brandmeister's website log in with your um, call sign and password and up in the top right hand corner um, somewhere kind of near a profile area you'll see self care Click on self care and go register yourself a password, then go to the hotspot section um, and turn on the security for your hotspot. They've had some changes along the way, but that's the way it currently is. So latitude, longitude, location, this is all stuff that you can pump in and across the various modes when uh, somebody's you know, seeing your call sign come up on their display, it will show some of this information. Not particularly sure what uh, M17 rate is um, there. Uh, suggests 1600 as voice and data. <laughs> I don't know. 
but uh, I've left the uh, check mark in the 3200 voice. A useful addition um, on this version of Droid Star is the mic gain slider as well. So the update host buttons and update DMRIDs. Hosts is your access point into the uh, network. And DMRIDs is the bit that converts, um, as you can see at the top of this, this screen, uh, the DMRID number into a call sign so that other people uh, see the call sign rather than just the DMRID number. Now on previous versions of this uh, Droid Star you would click those buttons and you'd see something happens. Um, it appears to me at the moment on this current version you click the button the button's just there with no code behind it but um, it's very certainly when you're receiving the DMR um, it does translate the numbers to uh, call signs. So this is a screen I've just chucked in um, just so it's easier to see. Um, there's a big blue TX button at the bottom of the screen. Um, above that you've got the audio, the green part is the audio of whoever you're listening to. Ping time, well that's just an internet uh, based thing from wherever you are to that host 7491 and then back to you. The lower the pin number the better. The rest of the display on there is pretty uh, obvious. You basically go to mode, you click on where it's currently saying DMR, <coughs> it presents your pull down menu. You select what you want, uh, you select your access point which is host. Um, and then where that says disconnect you, it will say connect you connect and hopefully you'll see some see and hear some activity when you're done you press disconnect to go into the settings and stuff across the top menus you can't do whilst you're connected so remember to disconnect first and then go into the settings that's pretty much it here's a little demo of receiving DMR Something I forgot to mention throughout this uh, YouTube video is that if you have a hotspot using a Droid Star on the same Wi Fi network uh, as your internet will probably cause the hotspot to hang. So if you're wondering why uh, your DMR is not you know, working on your hotspot afterwards, I think the reason is that Brandmeister. Uh, senses uh, another access point and locks the original one out. So all you have to do if you have an open spot for example uh, is go and change the mode to D star and then change the mode back to DMR. That's assuming that you're listening to DMR. If you're listening to D star then switch your mode across to DMR and then switch it back to DMR. Whatever way you do it by changing modes and then changing back again uh, will restart the connection with your hotspot. Hope that helps and saves a headache. So this video, if you like it or do, comment down below or thumbs up. Thanks for watching VA3SII. Bye.